In today's video, we'll be talking about how to install two operating systems on one Android phone. Let's jump right in. Before we go to the actual installation of the Android operating system, we need to understand the concept behind this process. The process is called virtualization. To define virtualization, it means the process of installing multiple operating systems on one hardware device. So in this case, we are going to be installing another copy of Android on top of an already existing Android platform. The new copy of Android that we are installing on the device, that is called a virtual machine. So basically, we can have as many virtual machines as we want on our device. And at the end of the day, all the virtual Android instances are sharing the same hardware that we already have installed on our device. And the beauty of this is, it creates a layer of abstraction so you can install any app that you want on the new copy of the android operating system and it will end up looking like you are you are having two different devices where the new android copy that you are installing is separate and different from the one that already existed as your host operating system and at the end of the day it shares both the ram your storage it shares the cpu power and all the other hardware features of your host device. So without further ado, let's jump into the screen recording to actually see how we can install a virtual machine on our Android device, thereby giving us two Android operating systems on one single hardware device. The software that will help us to install the second copy of Android on our phone is VMOS. We just jump into Google Play Store and search for VMOS. So you tap to install. The file size is quite large. So if when you are starting this installation, you have to have enough data ready and available, or you can use Wi-Fi to save your mobile data. It might take a few minutes to install, so now the installation is done. Let's open the app. You have a terms of service which you have to accept or agree. Now you have the introductory screen telling you the different things you can do. So let's enter the v VMOS Pro. You have to accept for it to draw on other apps. It requires access to your hard drive, that is to your storage. Then you go ahead and download the virtual ROM that is compatible with your device. So now our new copy of the operating system is booting up. You go through this series of screens that is trying to show you the things that you can do, which we are going to explain later on. We now have another copy of Android running on our Android operating system. Let's go back to the host operating system so we can see the difference between the host and the virtual machine. So now this is the host and this is our virtual machine. So which means we have two copies of Android running on this hardware device right now. Now let's look at some features that we can take advantage of in this virtual machine. Now it has this floating bubble. If you tap on it, you have capture. That capture enables you to take screenshots of your virtual machine. You have shutdown, of course. If you want to shut down the virtual machine, you just tap on shutdown. Please do not confuse these settings with your Android settings that is in the virtual operating system. But this is the virtual machine settings. Now, in the virtual machine settings, you have the option to enable Google services or not. If you are installing this virtual machine for security purposes, maybe you don't want Google to continue tracking everything about your life, you can turn off Google services so you can have a copy of Android that is running on your device that is not being tracked by Google. You have the floating ball, you have the resolution of your screen, you have background keep alive, volume, button penetration, etc. There are so many options here which you can look at and try to, you know, either enable or disable depending on your options. You can minimize now, if you tap on minimize, it reduces the size. Okay, it just shuts off your virtual machine for a little while. You have transfer, that is if you want to bring in apps from your host device into your virtual machine, because of course, remember, you do not have Google services turned on, so you may not be able to download and install apps directly from Google Play Store, but it does not stop you from downloading and installing apps from other third party sites like APK Pure and the rest. But please take note that any app you are downloading and installing outside uh, the google play you stand a chance of downloading and installing malware so you have task here you have the back button here which closes your floating bubble now let's go into other things um if you swipe up of course it brings you to your app drawer which 
any app that is installed on your virtual machine will be displayed here and inside your app drawer you have two different settings you have your vm settings that is your virtual machine settings which allows you to make changes to your virtual machine that is the container that is running the new android operating system that you have here and you also have settings this is the android device settings that controls your newly installed copy of your operating system so you can scroll down further to see about your emulated device if you are wondering what version of android is running in your emulator about the emulated device it shows you all the information that you need to know about your emulated device in this case we are running android version 7.1.2 so just in case you want to know and of course you have every other information that you need starting from ip address to mac address and all the other information that you might be interested in knowing you have gallery here and you have all the other apps that you might need and of course you still have your swipe down drawer um, this is for the virtual machine and this other one on top is that of my host device so basically that is that that is how to install two android operating systems on one hardware device if this video was useful to you please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video